Hello, if you don't know me yet, I'm Faris Farhan. Today I'm gonna reviewing some sunscreen. There's three type of sunscreen that I will talk about today. Number one, Asian sunscreen. It calls Bioray UV watery SPF 50 plus PA 4 pluses. And let's talk about the ingredient. The first ingredient is water. Second, alcohol. Very controversial. Alcohol is a one of ingredient. It's a simple alcohol that's great solvent and it's great penetration. Some people might irritate it by alcohol, but actually in the product, it can make active ingredient penetrate much deeper. Third ingredient is sunscreen, which is octinoxate and uvinol T150, uvinol A+, tinosop S, and it has multiple emollient, isopropyl palmitate, hydrogenated polysabutene, dimethicone, glycerate ceterite, glycerin, and sorbitin. It has uh, arginine, which is amino acid, also royal jelly extract, and sodium hyaluronic. This sunscreen contain alcohol and fragrance, and these both ingredients can irritate some skin type. The texture of the sunscreen is water gel or water base. I'm gonna swap on my, my hand. It is very water-like, very cool sensation. and it feels like uh, it feels like uh, almost like moisturizer and it observed very fast since it has alcohol very light it's very dewy it's not matte finish the first when you apply it feels like water like you put moisturizer after uh, five to 10 seconds it changed into like silicone it feels like silicone or vaseline feels when you put vaseline and it's water resistant also and my experience on this sunscreen it is very oily shiny dewy in the summertime in a very hot weather when the weather feels like 40 degrees outside but in in the winter it feels like moisturizer you do not need to put other moisturizer it looks shinier in the summer and by the way my skin type is normal to combination skin my opinion for this sunscreen i cannot wear the sunscreen by itself i might put a little bit of baby powder i want to just make it more matte finish to make it more less oily or dewy if I'm not lazy, I will wear this. It feels very fast absorption. After 10 minutes to 15 minutes before I'm going out from the house, I will put a bit of baby powder or any powder that you have. For the texture, I will give 8.5. And the smell, it smells like flower. In the beginning when you put or apply on your skin, it smells like flower, very pleasant. But after you sweat or after a few hours, it smells like a uh, bad flower. It become like a rotten flower, <laughs> I would say. The coverage for the sun protection is very high. It's 50 plus PA4 pluses. Overall, I would give 9 out of 10. For the texture, for the protection, if you don't have any allergy, fragrance and alcohol, it's worth of try this one. The second sunscreen is European sunscreen, which is La Roche Posay Intellius 50 plus PA plus plus. We have a lot of sunscreen out there. Some of them are Asian, very famous of lightweight. There's no white cast, very affordable, and European sunscreen known as not as cheap as uh, Asian sunscreen, and it's very small to compare it with Asian sunscreen. It's like 50 ml and the price is much expensive, which is make me excited. It was summer here in Egypt. There is no sunscreen that 
have matte finish and i saw the ingredient it has multiple ingredients can make the face matte without put any powder i make a mistake it has titanium dioxide which is it's a physical sunscreen that can appear white for some skin tone like me for the first minute i apply it feels mattifying it doesn't have oil it doesn't feel actually it feels let me show you it is cream it's light cream if you put cream from 1 to 10 light to thick i would give this a 4 for the cream when you apply it feels not easy to spread it feels very chalky i can say because it has silica in it so when you rub it you need extra you know tugging and rubbing make sure it's spread very well and it's very very good mattifying but unfortunately it has titanium dioxide which is a physical sunscreen that it can appear white cast on some of skin and let's talk about the ingredient number one the first list is water or aqua it's normal and number two is homosalate which is the first generation chemical sunscreen and then number three is ethyl hyacyl salicylate silica what is silica? A white powdery things that can mattify the skin and thicken up cosmetic product. Feels mattifying. Unfortunately, it make my skin a little bit white. It won't show up here because my hand it bit whiter than my skin, my skin tone. And it has uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine UV filter. It's very moisturizing, it has glycerin. It has a lot of uh, moisturizing ingredient. For the experience, I did not going out with the sunscreen. The first day I bought it, I was excited. The review on the YouTube for this sunscreen, not this sunscreen, the newest one, updated one for this La Roche Posay Intel is 50 plus. And this is the old version, which is they use titanium dioxide. So I put first on my face with the proper amount as a dermatologist uh, recommended which is a uh, half teaspoon for uh, face neck and ear it was disaster it made my skin white like a ghost at the same time it feel oily because i was rubbing and tugging my skin and i think the the ingredient bolt up separated from each other become not as mattifying as the first minutes you apply and i'm rubbing solid five uh, ten minutes i was like expected it to be without white cast and actually it has white cast for my skin unfortunately my opinion for this for my skin tone which is type 3 scale i will never buy it again really disaster and i'm gonna give to someone lighter than me and the third one egyptian sunscreen it's called Bobai Hydro Care Sunscreen Gel SPF 50 plus it protect from UVA and UVB it called anti-shine high protection light texture antioxidant invisible texture high allergenic oily combined skin water resistant i have a lot to say about this the ingredients the problem about this company parkville pharmaceuticals they didn't even show the ingredient on the bottle i mean like they show it but they show the main ingredient which is i want to read from a to z what is actually contained in the product and it just like it contain aqua zinc oxide and some of the uv filter and vitamin e which is it's not a full ingredient texture wise i think i'm gonna because my hand is like uh from bioray and this is for large posay and i don't want to mess up because the window is open so let's not wasting it let's use here it coming out like a cream not as watery or gel like a biore it feels like a cream from one to ten i can say the cream is the lightest one number one i guess the scale very light very fast absorption after for the biore when you're rubbing it's really like water 
and this the first 10 seconds it like it feels like a cream and then after that it become water smell so good smell better than bio actually very fast absorption there's no white cars the only problem with this sunscreen is it's very oily it is gel cream or cream gel after it observed it leave very oily feeling it feels like vitamin E or I don't know what ingredient that leave behind that did not observe to the skin and actually it's safe for oily skin how can I'm oily in the summer and using this make me double oily <laughs> right for the bioray it's like dewy because it has hyaluronic acid it feels hydrated from hyaluronic acid but this it's very light but it's very dry i feel dehydrated i feel it feels like empty there's no uh, water or hydrating ingredient as glycerin or hyaluronic acid it just feel like alcohol observe the sunscreen and then oil the experience on my skin i think i love this experience on my skin more than bioray because of the emollient because of the oil because of the vitamin e it gave moisturizing effect and i love it to compare all of them they are spf 50 plus very high but the bovai every time i wore it i feel it doesn't protect me as well as bioray or la roche posay you know you can feel the protection when you when you wear it it feels your skin is not as red as when your skin is naked without sunscreen i bought this three times and every time i finish it i swear myself that i will not buy it again but i don't know why make me buy this again and again and again end up i just using it on my body i don't feel this is protect me as much as byron and large per se give me so i can give this 7 out of 10 very disappointed not as disappointed as large per se large per se has white cast make me look like a ghost but it has fire eight type of uv filter and for this it feel light it feel moisturizing not as much hydration like biore you know there is no sunscreen for me is perfect every sunscreen has good and bad and for almost three years using sunscreen religiously i did not find the perfect one so time to choose which one will i use every day when i'm going to class or when i'm going outside hanging out or going to groceries very obvious now, this one that's true i can't be lazy if i'm wearing this because i need to put the baby powder or any powder to to make it mattifying for now i love this because i don't have any sunscreen that i can try since i need to finish this first and then two of them i will not wasting money for sunscreen so this is the sunscreen i'm using for face and for the neck hand and sometimes my hand and my recommendation for dry skin have slightly whiter or lighter skin tone so take this very high protection feels mattifying if you didn't uh, you know uh, rubbing way too much to be good i think you will love this so much but you need to wear with the proper amount half teaspoon for face neck and ear if you dry you want lighter sunscreen doesn't feel very heavy in the summer you can try this one you know dry to combination skin like oily i can say oh i think this is all skin type you know dry combination but oily you need to put a powder but for dry skin you need to put a moisturizer before you put this and the combination i think it depends if you combination if you use this if you feel on that day dry a little bit you can using without any powder for the combination skin and then at that day when you feel hot a little bit summer you know your t-zone is oily but it's drying here you can put powder on your t-zone if you are student or on budget you can try bobai it's very affordable you can find at any soidalia or any pharmacy and that's it for today thanks for watching see you next video bye